Hello friends this is next part of Code Igniter 3 data encryption and decryption and in this part we will discuss how can we update encrypted data by using Code Igniter encrypt library. So here we can see edit link in table, now we have click on one edit link, then page has been redirect to edit method of encryption decryption controller, but here we can see page not found error. So we have go to encryption decryption controller and here we have make edit function. Under this first we have write dollar this with load object with library method and under this we have write encrypt, this method will load code igniter encrypt library. Below this we have write dollar this with load object with model method and under this we have write encrypt decrypt model, this method will load this model under this function. Now we have go to encrypt decrypt model and here we have make fetch single data function with dollar id as argument, this function will return single data from sample data table based on value of dollar id variable. Under this method we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument like id and dollar id variable. This method will add WHERE clause in SELECT QUERY. Below this we have WRITE RETURN STATEMENT WITH DOLLAR THIS WITH DATABASE OBJECT WITH GET METHOD AND UNDER THIS WE HAVE WRITE SAMPLE DATA TABLE. This method will make an execute query and return query result. Now again we have go to controller edit method and here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar this with encryption decryption model with fetch single data function. And under argument we have write dollar this with URI object with segment 3, this segment fetch third segment value from URL which has been pass as ID in fetch single data method which returns single sample data table data. After this we have write dollar this with load object with view method and under this we have write edit data view file and dollar data variable. We can fetch data from this dollar data variable in edit data view file. Now we have go to edit data view file and here we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar data with result method as dollar row variable, this method will return query result in array of object which can be accessed from this dollar row object. Go to for make form we have simply go to insert data.php view file and copy whole html code of form and passed between this for each loop. Under this form first we have change action attribute value from insert validation to edit validation, so when we have submit form then request has been sent to edit validation method of encryption decryption controller. For fill normal string value under first name text box, so here we have write value is equal to equal to echo statement with dollar row first name object, it will fill this text box with encrypted data but we want data in normal string form. So here we have write dollar this with encrypt object with decode method. This method will convert encrypted data into normal string. Same way we want to fill last name text box with data, so here also we have write value is equal to echo statement with dollar this with encrypt object with decode method and under this method we have write dollar row with last name object. Now we want to fill age text box with data, so here we have write echo statement with dollar this with encrypt object with decode method and under this we have write dollar row age object, 
it display age data in normal string form. Select Lastly we want to select gender select box, so we have to write jQuery code for this, so here we have write dollar with select box id gender with value method. Under this method we have write echo statement with encrypt object with decode method and under this we have write dollar row gender object. After this we want to store ID of particular data. So here we have create input hidden field with name is equal to hidden ID and value is equal to echo statement with dollar row with ID object. Here we have store ID details under hidden fields. Lastly we have change submit button value from insert to edit. Now friends first we have refresh page and click on any data edit link. After click on edit link page has been redirect to edit method and here we can see form with filled data in normal string form. When we will click on edit button then request has been sent to edit validation method of encryption decryption controller class. When we will click on edit button then request has been sent to edit validation method of encryption decryption controller class. Data. First we want to validate form data which code we have already write under insert validation method. So we have copy this code and paste here. Valid. So here we do not want to write validation code again, so if there is any validation rules not follow then it will execute if block of code and here we have change edit method in replace of insert method. Suppose all validate rules follow then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have loaded encrypt library of code igniter. After this we have store form data under this dollar data variable, here form data has been converted from normal string to encrypted form. Then after we have loaded encryption decryption model for update MYSQL data. For this we have go to encryption decryption model and here we have make edit function with two argument like dollar id variable and dollar data variable. Under this first we have write dollar this with database object with where method with two argument like id and dollar id variable, it will add where condition in update query with after this we have write dollar this with database object with update method with two argument like table name sample data and dollar data variable it will make update query and it will update data based on value of dollar id variable now we have go to controller and here we have write dollar this with encryption decryption model with edit method and under this we have write dollar this input with post method with hidden id and dollar data variable. Here we have get id value from hidden id field and form data has been pass in dollar data variable, it will update data based on value of hidden id field. We have after data updation below we have write dollar this with session object with set flash data method with two argument like action variable and data update message. This method will store this message under session variable and which can be accessed only one time in at next page redirection.
Lastly page will be redirect to encryption decryption controller on which we can see list of data in table format. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here first we have go to data list page and now we again click on edit link of any data row. After click on edit link page has been redirect to edit method and it has load form with filled data in normal string form. Now we have make some changes in any form field and after this we have click on edit button. After click on edit button page has been root method of controller on which we can see success data update method on web page and below we can see data in table with edit button, here we can see data has been changed. Now in MYSQL database here we can see encrypted data has been stored under this table. So this way we can update encrypted data using code igniter encrypt library. Encryption of data is very important in safety purpose, because if anyone has hack our database then he cannot decrypt data without encryption key, so he cannot do anything with data, so data encryption is very import in web development. Oper which we have discussed here will all operation like insert of encrypted data, fetch encrypted data and display on web page in normal string form, update of encrypted data, this all things we have do by using code igniter encrypt library. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.